reeling from more big losses this morning. The free fall has prompted a massive sell-off around the globe, including at the New York Stock Exchange, where all three indices are down and have been down for the last few days. Nicole Killian joins us live now from our D.C. newsroom with a look at how Wall Street could react today. And Nicole, everybody's saying not panic. That's easier said than done, though, when you look at the way things have been going recently. Yeah, absolutely. Although the good news here is that at least for now, the Dow is poised for a higher opening based on uh, the future. So we will see uh, what happens when that opening bell rings. But uh, if it does open higher, that would certainly be good news, especially considering that China's markets dive for a fourth straight day overnight. Now, Wall Street is really hoping to recover after plunging more than 1,000 points Monday before closing down 588 points. It was the worst Dow decline in four years, prompting fresh concerns among investors over 401k and more. The stock's live fueled in part by a slowing Chinese economy. You have the classic battle between bulls and bears, and over the short term, anything can happen. And that's the most crucial thing that your viewers need to know. Um, the markets are totally unpredictable over the short term. Well, the question now, what will the Fed do about interest rates? Some are expecting the Fed to hike rates this fall, but now many analysts say that seems less likely given the current turmoil. Kenny? All right, Nicole Kelly in live in D.C. for this. Many thanks this morning. All right, thank you, Nicole. And the Dow future she was talking about, they are up all, already about 500 points this morning, indicating a higher opening on Wall Street. And here is a look at how overseas markets performed overnight. China's main stock market index, the Shanghai Composite, plunged 7.6% to an eight-month low. And in Japan, the Nikkei closed down 3.9%.